Let the ducking begin, my friends. I am Counterpunch Boxing. Look, I got a good one for you today, just packed with good information. Now, look, I'm going to hop right into it. No need to waste time. The WBO elevating Canelo Alvarez to the number one spot. He is the number one for the WBO. Now, what does it mean? You know, people are talking. They're saying, well, you know, uh, they want that Canelo money. You know, they want that Vegas cash cow. You know, they want to cash in on those sanctioning fees and da 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 da, da which is true. Yeah, that's true. You know, I, I give you that. But what this does, I mean, think about it. It's common sense, people. It puts Canelo directly in line. I mean, directly in line to fight the winner of Billy Joe Saunders and David Lemieux. Now, I think Golden Boy had it planned all along, okay? Uh, this this is no accident. I mean, how do you look? Canelo was nowhere on that list. He was nowhere near the WBO. I mean, he's had, what, two fights, I believe, at middleweight now with Chavez and Gennady Golovkin. It, correct me wrong, whatever, doesn't matter. But he's nowhere on the WBO list. Now, all of a sudden, you know, we have a Lemieux and a Billy Joe Saunders fight, and boom, Canelo, he's the number one contender. You know, he's the, he's the mandatory. Now, Billy Joe Saunders, remember, he fought uh, Willie Monroe Jr. He was a mandatory and now david lemieux another mandatory and you know just overnight i mean it's just over literally overnight now canelo will be the number one mandatory you know i mean this is uh just like jaw dropping i'm just blown away by this you know and not not really because if you remember let me get to my picture here if you remember the wbo you know said they're going to elevate terrence crawford you know, to become uh, the mandatory contender for Jeff Horn. So, you know, if Jeff Horn gets past his next opponent, which we know he will, this is some guy, I don't even know his name, I don't care about his name, uh, you know, when he wins that fight, Terrence Crawford will move up to welterweight and become the mandatory for Jeff Horn. So, you know, the WBO, they have a habit of this. And if you also remember, think back to Kirkside. Remember, they bumped Kirkside at 154 to give Canelo that number one mandatory spot at light middleweight. Now, magically, overnight, he's the number one contender for the winner of Billy Joe Saunders and David Lee. Now, what does it mean? What does all this mean? What it means is, look, Cinco de Mayo Day, you're probably going to get the winner of Lemieux and Saunders versus Canelo. Now, if it's uh, Lemieux, that's an in-house fight. How great would that be for Golden Boy promotion? And, you know, probably we won't see Gennady Golovkin and Canelo until September of 2018. <laughs> okay, yeah, let me repeat that. September of 2018, meaning about a year from now. You know, when, when, when Gennady Golovkin's like 87 years old, okay? I mean, look, 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 if he does this, let me tell you, you Canelo fans out there, if Canelo... If he doesn't take Gennady Golovkin, Cinco de Mayo Day, I mean, he cannot call himself a Mexican. He cannot call himself a warrior. He can't even call himself a man. I mean, it's plain and simple. I mean, he, he loses the man card. He loses every credibility, every card. Every card's getting pulled. You know, you are no longer a member of the Mexican boxing community. You are a disgrace if he pulls some shit like this. I'm telling you right now. It, it, it is what it is, people. You know, I mean, this is a uh, look. If, if, they, if they're going to do what I think they're going to do. What a shame. I mean, what a shame. You know, and, and what does it do? What does it do? It denies the boxing fans the fight they want, right? We all invested in the original fight. And, uh, and I know I know what people are saying. You know, they're saying, you know, Gennady Golovkin needs to look past Canelo. He already beat him. Who cares? You know, this kind of thing. You know, I get it. I understand your point. At first, I didn't agree with it, but now I get it. And I do agree with you. You're right. You know, he needs to move forward and go ahead and fight Billy Joe Saunders. But look, but not only, but the, here's here, here's what, the, you know, problem number two. I just presented problem number one, problem number two. Okay. How is Gennady Golovkin going to fight Billy Joe Saunders if Canelo is the number one mandatory? How's it going to happen? So not only are they denying Gennady Golovkin from becoming the undisputed middleweight champion, but we're not getting the Canelo Golovkin rematch. Now, I think this is probably done in spite. OK, I bet you anything. They all they all had their little meeting or whatever, because Gennady Golovkin didn't unify, you know, back when Billy Joe Saunders was calling Golovkin out, you know, pre Canelo, you know, before the Canelo fight, this is probably a way to get back at Gennady Golovkin for not giving Billy Joe Saunders that, that opportunity back then. So now what is Billy Joe Saunders going to do? He's going to say, Hey, you know, I tried to get you in the ring. You didn't want to get in the ring. Now I'm going to take Canelo. You know, how's that taste? You know, give you a little bit of taste of your own medication, right? This is what's happening. People. I mean, this is uh this is just breaking. This is big news right here. Okay. I mean, if you're a boxing fan, you should be, you know, 
pissed off or something here. I mean, I'm telling you, this is like, you know, I'm sitting here thinking like, man, I'm just literally blown away. Like, wow, you know, what is going to happen? You know, and, and what I think will happen, you know, uh, I'm look, I'll, I'll give you guys, I'm going to make another video of my prediction for David Lemieux, Billy Joe Saunders. I put a lot of thought into it and I think I'll have one of the best predictions on YouTube, uh, because you know, look, when I'm on point, I'm on point. You guys know that when I, when I'm on my A game, I'm on my A game and, and you know, it's time to get this channel, you know, rolling again. The holidays are over and I can focus on it again, but, uh, I'm, you know what? I'll probably leave it at that. Just a quick one. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just blown away you know we got Kovalev Shabransky tonight I'm going to make another video talking about that you know a great undercard you know you got to let me let me show you guys real quick before uh, we end it here uh, here you go right here uh, there, there's Canelo number one WBO world middleweight champion in the number one <laughs> I mean, how did he get there? It just did, did somebody mess up in the office? Is it a typo? You know what I mean? Like, how the hell did he get there? But look, on the undercard, you got Gamboa Sosa right here uh, tonight, HBO. You got uh, Sergey Kovalev, Shabransky, and of course, uh, you know, the. Uh, the uh, Gamboa Sosa fight, which I'm really looking forward to. So they got a, a great triple header on tonight. But anyway, back back to the back to the the video at hand. Um, that's all I can see, guys. And if you can think of another reason why they would be doing this, please let me know. I mean, why? How? Like I said, how? First of all, forget about Gennady Golovkin. Forget about all. How can you? How can you be elevated to to be a number one mandatory? You know the number one spot at the WBO rankings if you've only had two fights in middleweight. I mean, how does that? How does that even happen? You know, I I don't understand. Well, not two. I mean, technically, you know, I'm I'm saying two true fights at middleweight without the catch weights. Let me let me back up. Let me correct myself. I'm not talking about Miguel Cotto and all this. I'm talking about you know a, a true middleweight fight because I believe they wait. Yeah, it was 160 for uh, or what's that a catch weight too with the uh, Chavez? It's either one or two. Whatever. My point is he doesn't deserve it. Okay, you know he he fought Gennady Golovkin at a true middleweight right and then uh i believe it was chavez i have to go back and, and check that weight what the fuck damn i can't remember that weight pretty sure it was middleweight but you guys understand what i'm trying to say he doesn't deserve to be the number one and i think it's shady and corrupt for the wbo to do this so you know uh wow and you know i don't know as far as you know i'll wait you know i was about to tell you my who, who i'm gonna pick for the David Lemieux and the uh, Billy Joe Saunders fight, but but we'll leave it for another video. So what do you guys think? I, I mean, I'm just, I'm blown away here. What do you think?